Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever it is for you. For me, it's Tuesday, September the 12th, 2023, day 566 of uh, Putin's war of aggression against the people of Ukraine. And my friends, there is great news this morning for the Ukrainian people. I learned something new today. It's called Stretch, Starve, and Strike. And here's what it means. The Ukrainians, as you know, have been stretching the Russian troops. So they've made this big breakthrough down around Robotny. And that's caused the Russians to have to redeploy troops from their offensive line up in Kupiansk. They've been doing this for three months. Surgical strikes, careful advances, Clear the minefield, eliminate the opposition, degrade and attrit the Russians. And it's finally reaching a breaking point. The 76th Air Assault Brigade was pulled, right, that's uh, VDV forces, special forces for Russia, some of the most battle-hardened and experienced offensive troops that led that diversionary attack up there in Kupiansk that got them nowhere. They've been pulled out of there to plug the hole down in Robotny. Not only that, other forces have been pulled from along the line there. And the effects of it are showing. The Ukrainians have identified all these areas, these three principal areas, around Seversk, around Torska, around Krasna uh, Hadar, and Marienka down that way as areas that now may well be understaffed and open to rapid advance. For example, I reported on what happened around Opitny yesterday. Ukrainians advanced on the forces there. The Russians tried to retreat. But according to Russian military intelligence, there was a mistake. The retreating Russians were identified as Ukrainian troops and artillery unalived them. Now, look, we know that the Russians are firing on their own retreating troops. Is it possible that some low-level commander who's in the field, who wants to save the lives of his men, ordered a retreat, and then some jerk at HQ said, no, right, fire on them. That's not impossible. And it is. it certainly tracks with how the Russians are conducting themselves in this war. But let's let it go. It happened. Maybe it was a mistake. I hope to God it was a mistake. But it had real consequences. Dig it. The Ukrainians were able to take advantage of the troop loss and the confusion in the ranks to pour through those lines right into Opitney, right up against the river. If you see that dark line there underneath Opitney, that's a, like a series of lakes and stream and a stream that runs through them. And it provides a natural barrier. And the Ukrainians just pushed right up to it. Meanwhile, in a little village uh, over to the west of Opitney, the Ukrainians saw an opportunity to get in there. We have reports of Russian shelling in that village. Now, if it's not another mistake, the assumption would be that the Ukrainians are in that village and have advanced by close to a kilometer there. It's about a kilometer and a half, two kilometers in the Opitney direction, about a kilometer over there in uh, the west. Now dig it. The same is true just south of there. Yet another village, and yet more advance. And so the Ukrainians have identified these three axes where the troops aren't there. Not as many as they need to have there. And they're pushing through right now. Now, take that all together. And you get this. Along these lines of attack, it leads right to the Donetsk airport 
and to a logistics hub and railway hub. Cut that off. And all the Russian forces around here are going to be in real trouble. Uh, the ones in Vohadne there, they're going to be in a pocket. Everybody else's logistics are going to be disrupted. And it appears that the Ukrainians are on the move big time here. And it's not just here. We know about Robotny and Verbove, uh, south of Orakiv there, and in Bakhmut as well. I said it on August 30th. Mark your calendars. August 30th was a turning point in this war. The next few weeks, this map is going to change. Now, I do want to give some credit here. For this, I used maps by uh, reporting uh, from Ukraine. And this guy is great. He's on the tube of use over there. And he's got an online store. So for using his maps, I thought I should give him a plug. UASupporter.com. I do not. I am not affiliated with him. I'm not affiliated with his store. Um, but uh, he does great reporting. You should follow him. Um, and if you're interested in some Ukrainian merchandise, it would help him out if you bought something at UASupporter.com. And I hope he doesn't mind me using his maps. Thanks, guys.